Hello and welcome back to Nemesis. This is a Melody Lynn. We are playing as Bogard in Nemesis Mysterious Journey. And we've gotten to what they are calling the Water City, which has a lot to see, apparently. It looks like we have a bridge that somehow we're going to cross. We've got speakers and things. Spaceships up in the sky. Interesting. A birdie. Hello, birdie. A big old terrace here. Oh, with a kitty cat. Hi, kitty. The kitty seems to be a theme through here. I realized, and I will show you very quickly, that the reason I'm not finding the postcards is because I found them in a past playthrough and apparently it remembers that. So if I go here to extras, there's the different postcards you can find. Apparently I missed that one. But there they are. So you can collect them as you get through each. And if you don't collect them all in one, you can collect them in the next one. If you play it again, that is. And if you're interested in doing that. So we have these little windmill things and some power things. Cafe. These cables, I'm sure we're going to have to power it up, and I bet those little windmills power the big windmill. He lived with his wife in the bad districts of the Bronx and Hell's Kitchen in extreme poverty. The world didn't understand his genius. He took on various jobs outrageously below his intellectual abilities and his dignity. One of the few friends who understood him was Theodore Dreiser a reporter? When you start talking about aliens and paranormal phenomena, that is kind of what happens. I'm betting we're going to have to get these things connecting, facing each other. And we are going to have to figure out what makes these go the correct combination this one is going counterclockwise and this one is going clockwise so I'm guessing the ones on that side are clockwise the ones on this side are counterclockwise but as usual, we don't have a lot of clues. We have a big bird flying around. Oh, and we have somebody to talk to. Professor Tarrant, I presume? Amia told me. She met you at Regulus. I finally found him. And who are you? My name is Bogard. So, you're Amia's fiance? <laughs> <laughs> uh, almost. I'm her brother, Professor. Regulus has trapped you, right? Goddamn planet. But it was worth it to come here to see this. I called it Palmer, after Palmer Eldridge. It has three horizontal bars on the back, three stigmata. It's incredible. I'm not quite sure who you are talking about. About Palmer, Bogard. You can meet many at Regulus. They used to carry out experiments on them, which is why there are so many copies. And after that, they took them here with them when leaving Earth. People don't like loneliness, Bogard, but cats do. So what you were looking for at Regulus, Professor, was a cat? An unusual cat. Palmer is a rare species of wild cat. And you have found it, Professor, I guess? Indeed, my dear Bogard. So, where is it now? Last time I saw it over the ocean. I took a photo, but Palmer is invisible on it, like a vampire. 
That's also interesting, isn't it? Sounds very interesting. I should go now. Good luck, Professor. Good luck to you too, Bogard. You're already close to confrontation. Remember that the most difficult thing is the truth about ourselves. We don't need other worlds. We need mirrors. Goodbye, Professor. Goodbye, Bogard. I'm not sure that was helpful, but there's the cat right up there. Oh, licking his paw. And, um, yeah, there he is. We saw him. So that's Palmer. And another. The greatness of Charles Fort would probably have changed the course of history, but unfortunately fate, or maybe some strange force majeure, didn't want to let that happen. The world wasn't ready for it. And these, I bet you anything, we have to get them facing certain ways. And there's another windmill. Now this would go counterclockwise. So, um, there it goes. Oh, and that makes it stop. And that makes it start, and that makes it stop. Oh, wait, now it's going counterclockwise. It wasn't before, was it? Okay. Two, three, seven, nine. I'm hoping that's what it is because that's what made it. Okay, now that's clockwise. Counterclockwise. There we go. Two, three, seven, nine. indication if that's correct or not. Jeez. So these guys need to go clockwise, right? Have I got it correct? Yes. Clockwise. We have a bridge we're going to want to cross, I bet. There's another one, but let's talk to her. Can we read this? No. Good morning. What are you doing here all alone? Where are other people? I'm waiting, my dear. He, he will finally come. He'll come back to me. But who? Who are you talking about? My name is Bogard, ma'am. I used to watch with him, the vessels flying like galactic swans toward the arms of Orion. Together we admired the oldest beams of space light glowing in the darkness close to the Tannhauser Gate. When he hugged me for the first time on the edge of the Regulus Ocean, I only whispered, Dear God, there are so many stars here. He'll be back, Bogard. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be back. So, you're waiting for... My name is Hannah. I'm waiting for my husband, young man. Captain Rutger Batty. Leader of artificial dissidents in the battle for Orion's belt. Rutger is my best friend, my only love. Each time, Bogard, there is a copy that returns. They sent me his perfect copy. They think I won't realize it, but actually, 
I will always recognize his touch, Bogart. Rutger's touch is gentle, like a May morning by the Mississippi, or like stardust. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sure Captain Batty will come back to you. I see all our moments spent together through tears. They dissolve in my eyes, like tears in rain. My best friend, my only love. Okay, I think Batty is an appropriate name that would make her Hannah Batty, and um, she is a little Batty. So there's the cat, and I guess that's another copy of the same cat. He's got the three stripes on his back. And here is a thing. And here is a thing, and here is a thing. He died there after just a few hours, probably from leukemia. Many years had to pass before humanity appreciated his legacy. He died in the Bronx, in one of those tenements, is that what they mean? I think we need to set these first. Um, so this one is clockwise. Like that. Hmm. Doesn't seem to matter where those are. Maybe it does on the other one. Okay, there's clockwise, and that stops. That keeps it all going. And that keeps it all going. Okay. Um, is that how I had it set on the other one? What do I have? One, five, six, eight. It doesn't seem to matter, does it? Nope, that's going to turn no matter what. matter because if I put you there yeah you stop so you need to be on eight or you stop you can be on six or seven you're gonna have to be four or five and you don't care well let's try this whoops now I've gotten myself turned around I moved my camera view funny. One, two, three. Oh, that was it. There we go. Okay. Okay, it's a beam of light. Oh my gosh, I thought it was going to be a sound. Okay. Well, that's going to make things a little easier because we can just turn this. We'll have to bring it down. And I think... Bring it down a little more. Because I think it goes in here. Wrong one. And out there... Oh, I keep doing the wrong one. And is this one going to go over here? To this guy down here. I'm glad it's a beam of light because I can see that easier. 
course, if it was a sound, we just move it till we hear the sound. But. Oh, wrong one again. Oh, I keep doing the wrong one. Okay, now, is that shining on that one? Yes, and it's going over there. And then this one. Oops, it's even farther over. I just had to stop and look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay, this is going to have to go up. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Looks like about there. Okay, it's going to be hard to see it. There we go. And turn it. Okay. Now this one needs to go right straight down here. Oh. But we have a problem, Houston. That's blocking our way. Okay, so we're going to have to figure out how to get the bridge going. Because when we open that, it's going to hit this that I don't know if I have it high enough or not. I think I need to go a little higher. Is that thing going to go over there? If it is, it needs to be a lot higher. Yeah. I don't know if even that's high enough. Well, we'll try it at its highest. But then is that too high? I don't know. We're going to have to figure out how to get across that bridge. Hopefully, now that we've powered things up, we'll be able to... Yes. Does this? That doesn't do anything. But the gate's gone. Cool. Wow. This is like just... Wow. The lights in the lighthouses are flashing. And that's going to open the door? Yes. Okay, but that's too high. All right. But now we can see that it's too high. We'll bring it down. Those spaceships flying up there are really cool. I mean, this whole world is just, this game amazes me. I just think it's really pretty. Really cool, really well done. Except for the clues on the puzzles. There's just not very many clues on how to do these puzzles. I mean, I just got lucky with the windmill. Oh, okay, that's got to turn a little more. That's this one, right? There we go. Look at that. We shall be on our way now to who knows where.
Atlantis. That's what my achievement says. Oh, they finally get to meet. Okay, so what? We're still Bogart? Yeah. Are we able to switch? Can I talk to you? No, we're not going to talk. Where are we? Another town. Okay, that's where we came through, huh? Well, follow me, Amia. I know exactly. Abandoned town. Are you sure it's abandoned, Bog? I guess there was a research center here. This looks a bit like the scientists' apartments. What happened to them? I have no idea. Or maybe these were just... copies? A town of teleportage copies? Or a colony? Of ghosts. Huh. Are we playing as Bog because Amia is the copy? I wonder. Oh look, an elevator that I'm guessing we need to power up. <gasps> Amia, Amia, what are you doing? Wow, okay. Bunches of buildings. You're in my way, baby. In my way, baby. We can't do anything. Oh, here we go. All right. Zero. Zero. Oh, so it's <clears throat> a toggling on and off. All right. And that was the one we already tried. Oh, it's dusty. That's why I'm coughing, because it's dusty. Nothing here. Except another. Oh, this has three of those. Oh, you can't. Okay. So if you do you, you. You, you, you. Oh my gosh. And you. Okay. And then you are you. One, two, three. One, two, three, five, seven, eight. And then this is showing the intersection of both. So one and two both light up. Three isn't lit up on both, four isn't lit up on both, but five is. And the last one is. There we go, that was it. Okay. Oh, none of the other ones want to turn. That is it, and it did, did it do three and four? But they gotta let me, ooh, little spider. Um, they need to let me see that more than just once, wow. I'm gonna say that it did three and four. So the bottom one lit up ring three and four because I think that's what I saw in this first building. Okay, let's go see if we can open the other building in the same way. It's making noises. Okay, these are the ones that do not intersect, all right. Two, 
two, three, or three, four. So three, four, three, four, six, nine. Three, four, six. Okay, that's it. Three, four, six. Okay. Four and five and six. Four, five, six, eight. All right. So one and two, but not three, not four. two are the same, huh? So one and two are the same, but three is different. Four is the same, but five is different. Six and eight is different. No, that's not it. Okay. Oh, one, two, yeah, three is different. Four is the same. Five, one, two, three, four, five is clear, is different. Six is the same. Seven is the same and eight is different come on open up open up open up does this have another one no two three or three four six so three four six definitely Four, five, six, four, five, six, eight. Okay. Because that shows it as the ones that do not intersect. So this is three, I'm so visual. Three, four, six. And this is four. Five, six, eight. So one and two are both off on both things. Three is on on one, but off on the other, so that does not intersect. Four is on. Four is on. Five is on. One, two, three, four, five is off. One, two, three, four, five. So they do not intersect. One, two, three. Six is on. Six is on. So they do intersect. Seven is off. Seven is off. 8 is off, 8 is on, and they do not intersect. So what does it want then? Does it want the same thing as the other ones, the one that, ones that do intersect? So that would be 4 and 6 only. Hmm. Three is lit, four is lit. Six is lit. So three, four, six. 
are lit, 4 is lit, 5 is lit, 6 is lit, 8 is lit. So 4 and 6 again. Maybe it's the ones that aren't lit. Or something. Maybe that's what it is, the common ones that are not lit. So one, two, three is lit on both. Well, one of them. Four is lit on both. Five is lit. Six is lit. Seven is not lit. So that would mean... My goodness, I'm not sure what they want. Because that little picture makes it look like you light the ones that are not in common and keep the ones dark that are in common. but only the ones that are lit. So three is lit and not in common. Four is in common, so it doesn't light up. Five is, wait, three lights up. Four lights up or stays dark because they're in common. Five is not in common. Six is. Oh. Three is not in common though. Four and six are in common. And eight is not. So. No. Okay. The outside ones should be lit. And the ones in common should not be lit. So four should not be lit. Three should not be lit, four should not be lit, five should not be lit, six should not be lit. No. Just the opposite. No. Yeah, that's three, four. Three, four. For sure. So it is three, four, six, and four, five, six, eight. So maybe four should stay dark, and six should stay dark. Which is not it. Is it the dark ones that are uncommon? So one and two are both dark. Three are not both dark. Four are not both dark. Five are not both dark. Seven's the next one that's both dark. Because eight is not both dark. No. Well, let's go on. I'm getting, you know, Mia, you could be a little bit of help here. 
we went up there and got that one, right? Oh, we got a thing to read here. My ancestors' books were burned, but this is the fate of all true visionaries. Is it really? Did their books be burned? Little lizard. None of those want to click. I probably have to power that one up like we did. Every time I see her, it startles me. We'll come back over to this side because we missed an area on this side. Back in here. Lizard. Sure, bird. Interesting. This is different. But only I, Emmanuel Fort, who ha is not related to him directly, but consider myself to be his spiritual child, was able to bring to life the ideas of my grand-uncle, whom to this day I consider my mentor. So it's Emmanuel Fort that is doing all this. What is this? We got a little bit of lag here because I click on it and it takes it a moment, but I don't know what I'm doing. So we're not going to worry about that one just yet. Amia, will you help? Instead of just following me around, you copy of a woman. Look, are those just lights up there? I guess they're just lights. I thought they were some kind of a clue or something. Did we go down here? That fell. Big old turtle. Not sure how long this video has been going. We might have to finish this in another video. Oh, those are all individuals. Okay, and this just lights everything. Hmm, and this shows that it's everything. So is it, so is it all of them? No. see what's happening. So it's one, three. One, three, six, 
six. One, three, six, eight. Okay. So one. Oh, there we go. Little lizard down there. Okay, now let's watch this carefully. Okay, we're going to click this one. It didn't light up anything. Okay. And that didn't light up anything. And now we can't turn. Oh, there we go. Oh, now it did two and four. So the building on the end, the top did two and four. And that just does nothing. And that just does nothing. And that does four. Wait. Four? Yeah. So you're two and four, and you're four. All right. So we need to figure out how to open that other door, but I also want to see what's back around here. Cause that other door was baffling me. Maybe there's some doors around here that'll help us. What is that? It's like a big, huge lizard. Wow. We'll let it be. Oh, is there no door on this one? It doesn't look like it. Okay, nowhere, no way up there, no way up there. Oh, what's the, oh, little bug. Nothing through there. And Mia, get out of the way. I sound like a real brother, huh? Okay, so we just need to figure out what's going on with this one. What this means. It is three, four, six. So that's one and two not lit up. Three and four lit up. Five lit up. Six lit up. But seven not lit up, but eight lit up. But that doesn't make it happy. So we'll do the opposite. And that doesn't make it happy. Two should not be lit up, but three can be. 
four can be five can be six can be and eight can be no what is that telling me the darks intersect so they're the ones But see, it doesn't want to do that either. So one and two are both dark. Three is either one. Four is either one. Five is both dark. Wait, four is all lit. And one and two are dark. Maybe it's the ones that are the same. So one, two, four is the same. Five is not the same. Six is the same. Seven is the same. No. Let's reverse that. And it's not that either. Um, 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 um. Hmm. Two, four, six, four, five, six, eight. Four and six are the only ones that are the same. But that's not what it wants. And it doesn't want that either. Because the lit ones and this is definitely, look at that. Okay. That's where we were goofing. So it's two, four, five, six. So two is different. One is the same. Three is different. Four is the same. Five is different. Six is the same. Seven and eight are different. No. Let me just make sure. Oh, see, that one lights up one, two. So that's one, three, four, six. One, three, four, six. No, one, three, four, six. Okay. And you are definitely two, four, six. Two, four, five, six, eight. So, one is not in common. I mean, through it all, they end up all being lit up because they're all different except four and six. But that's not what it wants. So the numbers in common are four and six, right? Four, five, six. Yeah. Four and six are the only ones in common. I'm just drawing it the way they've got it.
and the ones outside that are not in common are one, three, or one, two, three, five, seven, eight. Unless we're only doing the dark ones, and the dark ones in common are seven. That's it. But that's not what it wants. So what is lit? Two is lit. Three is lit. Four, no. Five is lit. Well, see, four does have a lit one. Seven is the only one that is not lit on both of them. And you are not. Can I do something different? One, five. Yeah, see, so you're not going to do any of that. doing it. Oh, because it's two. Two, three, no. Oh my goodness, what is this? I'm going to go back over here only because there was lag on the other one. I want to make sure we got this one right. So if I turn that top one, nobody lights up. Okay, if I turn the second one, the second one lights up. I just want to lower this a little bit and double check that. Oh, the first one lights up. So if I turn that one, nothing lights up. The second one, the first one lights up. And the third one, nothing lights up. And the fourth one. Nothing lights up. Okay. So it's only that one that lights things up. And on the other one, the top was two and four, and the bottom was four. I'm just double checking this since I can't figure out how to get into that door. 
Amiya, I wish you would do something. You probably are a copy because you just stand there and you don't do anything. Because then we've got that other area too that does something. Okay, so the top is two and four. You're nothing. You're nothing. And you're four. Does that somehow relate to this over here? Whoops, that's the wrong way. You know what? I wanted to see anyway. Ooh, that bird kind of startled me. It's a really cool landscape. It really is. Because we had this one down here. That we didn't even have to fight to get to. Top is nothing. One's nothing. This can't be right. Oh, that's the fourth one. And four is the second one. There's nothing we can do with that. Or any of this. If I could get into that room, I'd probably get the last piece of the puzzle. And be able to figure this out over here. But I'm not sure how to get in that room. Is that back here? No, where was that? Was it through here? That's where it was. And there's nothing along here anywhere that I can see. Can't really get back there. This is one of those little postcard things that I must have missed before. Okay. And these are just stone slabs. These, this doesn't seem to do anything at all. I 
doesn't matter which way you turn it either. Oh, it does. Oh my gosh. So now I gotta go back and check on all the other ones. Because it does matter which way you turn it. Okay. So the top to the right lights up the fourth thing. But to the left, it does nothing. This one to the left does nothing. And to the right does nothing. This one to the left. One and three. And this one to the left. It doesn't matter. Okay. Well, we're going to have to go back and check the other ones now. And figure out how to get into that door. Oops, it wasn't up here, was it? I was thinking it was up here. But it was up here. Oh, and I thought that was another one of those postcard things. This one is. Finding some of the postcards I didn't find before. Okay. So if it goes left, it's nothing. If it goes right, it's nothing. If it goes left, it's one. If it goes right, it's nothing. If it goes left, nothing. Right, nothing. Left, nothing. Right is one and three. Okay. Sure wish it would let me come in here. See if this one did it, I can't go any faster than this. Well, now I don't have it either. It doesn't show it. Oh, that one's making a noise too. A noise with the light. Okay. So the other one was lit in the middle and dark on the outside and they wanted the intersection of the two. This one is dark in the middle and light on the outside. So do they want the subtraction of the two? Here, there, I mean, the only ones that are the same are four and six. 
but that's not what it wants. Maybe both that are dark, which is none of them. Seven is the only one that both are dark. Okay, um, four and six are the only ones that match. Oh, that was it. I don't know what I did, but that was it. Okay. Let's see what this one does. So this one, if the top goes left, there's nothing. If it goes right, there's nothing. If it goes left on the second one, it is three. If it goes right, it's nothing. On the third one, if it goes left, it's four. And if it goes right, it's two. And on the fourth one, if it goes left, it's nothing. But if it goes right, it's nothing. All right. Now what I am thinking is this all has to deal with the elevator. Right here. Okay, so everything's going left, and the top one is lit. So this one matches the top one, but going to the right. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, to do two, we need number three going right, which it is. To do three, we need, oh, wait a second, let's go back to one, because I wasn't looking at everything. Four has to go right, two has to go left, which it is. Do these stop? No, they only do that, okay. So one we don't care about. Two has to go left. Four has to go right. And three has to go right. Okay, that should be right for that one. For the second one, Three has to go right, and, oh, you know what, did I go look at that one, that far away one? I don't think I got, 
I don't think I went back and looked at it. That was the last one we looked at. Did we look at this one? Because I don't have notes on one of them. Okay, this is the one I don't have notes on. If it turns left, it's two and four. If it turns right, it's nothing. If it turns left, it's nothing. If it turns right, it's two. Okay, this is gonna help me. Left is nothing, right is nothing. Left is four, right is nothing. Okay, now that I have that information, let's go back over here because I think we're setting the elevator. And getting closer to confrontation. All right, here we are. Okay, so for the top one, then two is going left. Three is going right. And nobody else really cares what they're doing. If we're the second one, two is going right, which it is. Wait, when we were the top one was four was going right, yeah. Four is right, three is right. And nobody else affected the one light. With two, two is to the right. One doesn't seem to matter. Four is to the left. And three is to the right. And with three, four is to the right. Three is to the right. Two is to the left. And that's all we care about. And with four, this one's to the left, the top one's to the right, and three is to the left. And that did not power up our elevator. So did we miss something? I'm thinking we must have.
Okay, in this first building on the right. Making some notes. If that goes left, it doesn't do anything. If it goes right, it doesn't do anything. If this goes left, it lights up number three. If it goes right, it doesn't do anything. If this goes left, it lights up number four. If it goes right, it lights up number two, right? Yes. And if this goes left, it doesn't do anything. And if it goes right, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Next house. One, two, three, four. Left and right. Because I got something messed up, so I'm just going to double check all of these. And make sure I have them all, too. Maybe I totally missed one. Okay, if that goes left, nothing happens. If it goes right, nothing happens. If this goes left, the first one lights up. If it goes right, nothing happens. If this one goes left, nothing happens. If it goes right, nothing happens. If this goes left, nothing happens. If it goes right, one and four, or one and three light up. I might have had that wrong. One and three light up. Okay. Coming back around. Bye, helpless Amia. You're not helping me at all. Not at all. I was up through here. And I think that was the only thing we really had anything to do with because we couldn't click on anything else. That looks like a condor or something. Yeah, nothing else is clickable. Maybe later. But for now, the only thing clickable is this. And left does nothing. This is on the pavilion. There's nothing. Right is four. Left is nothing right is nothing left is nothing right is one and three left is nothing right is nothing And that is one and three. I just wanted to double check. Okay. Amia, 
You just get in my way. Okie dokie. Now we have this one down here. Okay, the one at the end. One, two, three, four, left and right. So if that goes left, it's two and three. I think this might have been the one we were missing. There, I'm trying to get it where I can see everything. If it goes right, nothing. Left is two and three. If it goes left, nothing. Right is two. Right on here was nothing. If it goes left, nothing. Right, nothing. If it goes left, four. If it goes right, nothing. Okay, see, I was only looking at four of these, but there's five all together. So that was my goof up. Isn't the first and isn't the last. Because there's one right down here. Okay, if it goes left, it's nothing. Let me write down my notes. If it goes right, it's one. If it goes left, it's nothing. If it goes right, it's four. If it goes left, nothing. Right, nothing. If it goes left, it's two, and if it goes right, nothing. Okay, so now I'm going to sit here and put it all together. So if we are ring one, we want the second ring to go left the top ring to go right the third ring to go right and the fourth ring to go right if we are ring two we want the third ring to go right, the top ring to go left, and the bottom ring to go left. And I don't know. Yeah, the third ring goes right. Where's the other two? Oh, there it is. The second ring goes right. Ring three. I'm just putting these all together. The second one goes left. The fourth one goes right. 
The third one goes right. And the top one goes left. And for ring four, we're gonna have this, I can tell. The third one goes left. The top one goes right. The second one goes right. And the fourth one goes left. Okay, we have got this. Let's go back and power up that elevator. And I know this video is getting very long, but I think we're near the end. I might just split it in two. We will see how it goes. Unless this elevator takes us to another puzzle. Okay, for the first ring, it is right, left, right, right. Oh, that's all we had to fix. The other ones I must have had fixed. There's our elevator. Come on, Mia. Okay. This takes us, let's read this. Another experiment, another failure. Failed teleportage copies are wandering on Regulus like ghosts. I no longer have any control over them. Well, you're the one that started this whole thing, So, we buddy. finally reached the hotel. Do you think the same that I do? Andromeda means death? Yes, that must be his seat, the command center. So, let's meet the asshole that lies behind all of this. Let's go meet him. We saw him sitting there. This is the end of our journey. And here's our guide. So, it's you who's responsible for all this mess, isn't it? From the very beginning, I knew that you were both exceptional, Amiya. Emmanuel Fort, at your services. We've read your logs on the way. Who was Charles Fort, for you? Does it really matter? I've taken his name. It's a kind of tribute to his genius. The experiment is over, you psycho. We go back home. Don't blame me, Bogard. I had to try. I had to know. I'm... I'm dying. The teleportation is still not safe. You offered people something you can't control. You knew about it, right? The progress of civilization always requires sacrifice, Amiya. It's nothing personal. What actually is the problem? The lack of 100% compliance? The consciousness, Bogard. At the physical and chemical level, everything is fine. Experiments on animals have given perfect results. Rats, cats, even monkeys. But with humans, it somehow went out of control. That's where the failed teleportage copies come from. What are they? They don't know anything, Bogard. They don't know anything. The consciousness, well, during teleportations, it gets slightly dispersed. Why didn't you give up on this? You as twins with an extremely high IQ were perfect objects. The history will never forget what you did. You scum. I know, Bogard. You feel resentment. These are your emotions. But please believe me, it's easy to make judgments, but progress requires to sacrifice individuals. It has always worked like that. My uncle, Charles Ford, was one of them. <laughs> your uncle? 
Bro, he lived 200 years ago, and he was quite a psycho, just like you. People often confuse genius with madness, Amiya. Okay, let's finish this show and go back home, Mr. Genius. When the relevant services will learn about it all... <laughs> oh, because you think they don't know? So smart, and at the same time, so naive. We will deal with this on our own. We will solve this here and now. Don't do that, my love. Too late. It's over, you psycho. Now we can go back home. Only one of you will go back home. You failed teleportage copies. Failed teleportage copies? What are you talking about, you madman? The dead are not allowed to leave, Bogard. This is a planet of ghosts. What is this jabbering, Bob? Only one of you, Amiya. Only one. All logs are hidden in this room and are protected on disks. I've also sent them to the appropriate places on Earth. I've become... immortal. You'll end up in a psychiatric hospital. The work of my life has ended, Bogard. It's time for me. He said that one of us was a copy, Amiya. It's impossible. What if he was right, Bog? Then, one of us will come home, and the other will stay here forever. It's our nemesis. Our destiny. Okay, let's see which one is dead, I guess. Amia, oh my goodness. Bogart made it. Oh dear. Poor Amia. I'm told there's ways you could play it so that Amia lives and Bogart is the one that dies. But um I'm not gonna go through all that because I'd have to go through the whole game again and, and I'm just not going to do it so we had Bogart living um, and there are ways to play it so that Emiya lives a very pretty game the puzzles were a little frustrating there weren't very many clues especially those windmills were um, a little frustrating on how to do them the other puzzles you could logic your way through I'm not sure of the logic behind the windmills except that everything had to match kind of like those gates that we went through a while back they all had to match but um, there you go that is mysterious journey 3 nemesis I hope you enjoyed and I hope you'll stick around and join me in further adventures. Until then, I will see you in the next adventure. Bye-bye.